Hello everybody, Mr. Ricky Stevens here, and today I'm going to be playing a boss sent in to be by Shadow Unit. And uh, I think this is an update to a previous boss that I fought. It's a tri-file, and uh, I'll include the link to the previous video in the description and right on the screen right here. BAM! You see that? You see how eccentric I was? That why there's such a big BAM involved because I was very eccentric about it like I am eccentric about facing this boss so I got my ship all set up and configured I'm using the most recent version of Fraxy thanks again to Shadow uh, Unit 2 for sending me that and yeah let's get going Six days to make, wow. Uh, it is possible to know miss, you must have to fight it right. All right, so I'm gonna put on my shield. Oh, Jeebus, oh, Jeebus, oh, Jeebus, oh, sweet Jeebus. No, no, sweet, okay. So obviously we see that there's a whole bunch of balls flying in my face. I never thought in my life I would be saying those words. Balls in my face. Oh, look, and then, like, uh, just after you're dead, it wants to shove it in your face. But, oh, I, I can't even talk because I gotta concentrate so much because of all these balls in my face. I don't, I'm not even, I don't even know where I'm shooting at. I'm just firing at the screen. God damn it! All these balls in my face. Holy shit, what the hell was that? No, seriously, what the, oh, I think those were homing lasers, and how did you get that sort of, like, burning effect there? That's, that's a nice one. And he's given me a hundred lives, because he knows how much of a shitty player I am. Look at this thing, it just comes right up in your face, it's like, yo, what's up, what's up, you want to do something about it? Come on, man, swing, come on, swing at me, come on, take a swing, come on, man, what you gonna do, bro, what you gonna do? This is probably the douchebaggiest of Fraxy bosses, because not only does it like throw its balls at your face, it gets up in your face, all up in your business, and so like, yo, man, you want to start something? You want to start, man? Come on, man, let's go. Let's go. I'll go anytime, anywhere. And then just to make sure you're dead, it goes right up in your face and punches you like, bam, there you go. Like, oh, pop you right in the face. So what the fuck's up with that? I don't know. Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm not even getting two shots in. I'm down to... I've just... I've used up a quarter of my life, and I haven't even done a quarter amount of damage to him. Okay, now it's swinging. It's spinning. It's spinning. Oh, fuck. What the hell is this? Oh my god, what the hell is this? This is actually... This is generally getting me peeved right now. Because I got two... The oh! 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 I freaking hit it! I hit it! It's down! The one hand is down! I don't know how I did it, but it, it, I guess it's down! Going down! Come on, motherfucker! What do you got? Jesus Christ, it's like a friggin' 4th of July show! Or the Festival of Lights! Festival of Balls! Look at all these balls being thrown in my face! And Saul is there! Come on! Oh! 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 
All the way. Oh, the right side's down. Right side's down. Come on, you motherfucker. Come on. I think he gave me 100 lives to do that this is happening. So it's basically how how many times or how fast can you beat it? It's not keeping your lives. It's just how how much can you beat it until your lives run out and you're sitting there holding your ass because you shit yourself so many freaking times. Because oh my god, this is ridiculous. What is... Okay, now I'm damaging the main part. Why is it going down there? I can't shoot you from down there. Get up. Okay, it's obviously going after me, so I'm going to set up a deep boy. Set up a decoy, set up a oh fuck! The decoy things really work, so let's set up just another decoy right here in this. Come on. What, my bullets aren't even reaching? What the shit? Almost there. Come on! Yes! Suck my dick! Oh my god! Holy shit, throw all the ball throwing and. Oh! Wait. SH Rex Cavalier MK2 Showcase Mode Ricky Friendly Version? What do you mean this is put on easy? What the fuck? This should be like the version that you send out earlier because holy shit, how the fuck can anybody do any better than that? Jesus Christ, there's just balls everywhere being thrown in your face, just gargling in your mouth. There's oh god, give me all your balls. There's just Jesus Christ, how the hell is anybody... I made it with 27 lives, so I guess it did well. I guess if you play it through two or three times, you just gradually get better. But for an introductory one, like, holy shit, that was intense. Uh, I especially love those fists that it had at the beginning that absolutely just come up there just to make sure you're not dead. They just fucking beat you in the face. Man, I don't think it would be so hard unless it was... It it sit it sat still and just maybe move from side to side. Having it come up right in your face just it always pisses me off because I can't I can't hit for shit. Uh, you, and it just keeps firing at you and it's just bam there you go and it's all blowing and stuff. So yeah, uh, that's that's my take on it. I guess if I had to give any thing, I'd say just make it move less less sporadic movements because. When it was still, I could see where the the safe zones were, and if you keep getting used to it. But with all the sporadic movements, especially uh, the end is okay. Like the end, you can use sporadic movements because it's just one single unit, and you can distract it easily with a blur decoy, of course. But even if you didn't, it would be a lot easier because it's just one moving object. But because there's multiple moving objects in the beginning, and it has such a big you know area of effect. Having it move is almost just a smack in the face to the player. But, like, that's my main complaint. If it didn't move so much and it just stayed still so I could actually shoot it. Especially when the bullshit happened and it moved to the side so I couldn't fucking hit it. And it was still firing at me. What the sh- What is that shit? That doesn't work well. That's not a good game mechanic. But... Oh, it was really good bullet hell, and I mean hell, like holy shit. So if you're going for bullet hell, congratulations, man, you succeeded. But um, I definitely think that you should probably keep it in one in less movements, just to give the player an ample opportunity to start firing upon it. And that's my take on this box. This has been the SH Rex Cavalier MK2 Showcase sent in by Shadow Unit. 
Uh, if you want any more information, go to Fraxy HQ. Links in the description. All the links that I'm dropping right now are going to be in the in the description. Fraxy HQ. I just joined that recently. Really fun. If you're a fan of Fraxy, go there. Start uploading bosses. Get a part of the community. Um, also, follow me on Tumblr. I post updates there way more often than I post them on YouTube. Uh, make sure to ch uh, like, favorite, and subscribe. Comment what you thought of the video, what you thought of the boss. And maybe Shadow Unit will see it and he'll be like, oh, that's interesting, yes. And lastly, just a quick announcement. I am hosting a contest. Uh, you can find it in the Fraxy HQ. I'll put a quick link to that in the description as well. It's a Superman uh, Fraxy contest. Well, what I want is, you know, the uh, drilling machine that Zod uses in the new Man of Steel movie. Um, for those of you who have seen it, you uh, will know immediately. But for those of you who don't, it's in the trailer. It's that big machine, that big tripod that comes down, starts firing upon Metropolis. What I want is somebody to make a Fraxy boss that emulates that, that machine. And the way I'm judging it is I want it to be a very great experience. The person who creates a boss with the best experience via either um, the mechanics of the gameplay or maybe music, background imagery, um, you know, that sort of stuff. Uh, the one who makes the best experience for the player will win the contest. And what they will be winning is the boss will be featured in a special video I will be doing around October, November. And they will also be receiving a special texture pack, which I will be using in the video as well. It's a Superman texture pack, and it's similar to my Iron Man texture pack. It changes your the player ship into Superman. So, yeah, that's awesome. And uh, that's it for this video. Um, to everybody around the world, this is Mr. Ricky Stevens, and I'll catch you later, guys.